everyone. I am in my kitchen for the very first time for my video and tutorial today. I'm so excited because Halloween is in a couple of days and I have decided to make a bloody brain cake. Oh, it's gonna be so awesome. So I looked it up online and I will post the recipe in the description so you can see exactly the one that I make, but it's very simple according to my understanding. Um, all you're gonna need is a red velvet cake. So I'm just gonna use a packet one like this. You are going to need a round baking bowl. And this is because the brain is a round shape like this. And if you use a regular baking pan, it's not gonna have that nice shape. You're gonna have to do a lot of carving afterwards to get the shape. So you're just gonna bake it in a bowl like this. Um, this is a mixing bowl, but it's metal, so I'm hoping it's gonna work in the oven. I'm pretty sure it will. You are also going to need some buttercream icing to put on the cake once it's done. And then on top of the icing, you are going to need some fondant. Fondant, fondant. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is what you're gonna need. And you are basically going to roll it out into long, thin noodles that you are going to squiggle on top of the icing, which is gonna make it stick. And then last but not least, you are gonna to top it all off with seedless raspberry jam to give it a nice bloody brain look. So stay tuned and bake with me today. I am so excited. So all I'm gonna do right now is make this pre-mixed red velvet cake, which is super easy. All we need is one cup of water, three large eggs, and a third of a cup of vegetable oil. So let's do it. Ooh, this is actually cocoa flavored. Cocoa flavored red velvet? Who knew there was such a thing? I actually don't do a lot of baking, by the way. I try to stay away from cookies and sweets because I have a real sweet tooth and it is not good for me. Once I, once I go down this path, but I am making an exception because it's a special holiday, Halloween, of course. Um, and you know what? You gotta get into the spirit of things. Okay, so a third of a cup of vegetable oil. I'm using olive oil. Just like this. Three eggs. One cup of water. All right. Mix it all together for about 30 seconds. Okay, so I've already made a mistake because this is my mixing bowl, but it is also my baking bowl. So I'm gonna have to get a little creative. Um, I'm gonna mix all of this together. Mm. And then I'm going to have to put it in another bowl and then grease this bowl and then put it all back. It's my first time baking a bank. It's my first time baking a brain cake, so <laughs> please have some patience with me. Okay, uh, this all needs to be like ripped up. Um, it does say beat. I don't know. Well, blend. I don't actually have a um, uh, egg beater. So I'm gonna see how I go with this whisk. And then I actually have a stick blender. Maybe I should use a stick blender. Let me use a stick blender. I use my stick, blend, my stick blender for soups, so um, hopefully this will work just as well. Uh, okay. Mmm, <laughs> brains. Not yet. Coming up. Tasting the brains. Mmm, delicious. Well, it will be, not yet. <laughs> okay. This looks really good. Um, nice, rainy texture. 
color's good anyway. If I, if I imagined if you cut open a brain, it would probably be this color, so. Okay, I gotta stop eating the batter. Now, like I said, I made a mistake, and I used my baking bowl for my mixing bowl, because normally it's just a mixing bowl. So, I'm gonna pour this into a, another bowl, and then I'm gonna grease this one up for baking. And this is gonna be the baking bowl for the brain because it's a nice round dome shape. So let me do that right now. Here we go. Oh, oven's ready, yay! And we are just about ready to bake this, so um, I am just going to give this a quick rinse because I am not a very good baker and I'm not sure if having this in here while I grease it is going to make it stick, so better be safe than sorry. Mm, stop eating the dough. <laughs> okay, here I have nice, clean now former mixing bowl, now baking bowl. And um, you know what? I am going to uh, um, use my pan spray. Oh, sugar. Pan, girl's best friend. And I think this will be good enough. I mean, afterwards, it doesn't have to be perfect when it comes out because you are gonna have to do a little bit of carving and the icing is gonna go on and the um, brain squiggles are gonna go on, so. If it doesn't come out perfect, if a little bit sticks, it's going to be okay. So I'm just going to give it a quick spray like this. Okay, and then I'm going to put the batter back in the bowl. I'm so excited. Oh, you can't see. There we go. Someone please stop me eating this batter. Now, it is going in the oven, and we are gonna bake it for, I am gonna do it for half an hour, half an hour, and uh, put a toothpick in it. If it comes out clean, it's done. If not, you gotta leave it in a little bit longer. So, um, that's what I'm gonna do. So, yay, putting it in the oven. Brain in the oven. Oven brain. Okay, time to get it out of the oven. Looks pretty good. Kinda looks brainy already. Let's just check to see. Look at that. Mmm, delicious. So, now we have to let this cool and then once it's cool we can carve it into the shape of a brain and ice it so that the fondant fondant sticks <laughs> okay so i'm gonna let this cool i'm actually gonna probably let it cool overnight and i'll come back in the morning to do the icing and the final decorating so yay see you tomorrow Good morning everyone. Today is the day that the newly baked brain is going to become my chef masterpiece on the dessert table. So this is what it looks like straight out of the oven and the next step is to carve it into a brain shape. Now we all know our brains are pretty round but um, I actually got this picture from the internet and um, you know, as you can see, there's like the, I think this is the, the, um, the front part, the forehead is here, so it's a little bit shorter on this side, and then the brain stem, it kind of like, kind of goes, slopes down, and it's a little bit um, thicker on this side. So I'm gonna do my best um, to carve it in this beautiful brain shape. Um, the other thing we're gonna do is carve down the center to do the two hemispheres. So there'll be a little groove down the center like that. And then also the sides of the brain are a little more flat. So it's gonna be more of a rectangular oblong shape. 
with two hemispheres and um, kind of like a bit more flat on the sides. So, wish me luck. I am not the greatest sculptor, but I'm gonna give it a go. Stay tuned. <laughs> It's a bit of a, it's kind of small brain. I don't know, maybe this is more like my size. Um, it's definitely, probably not the size of a genius brain, but we're just gonna eat it, so who cares. I think that looks pretty good actually. Mmm, delicious. I'm gonna eat these later. <laughs> okay, it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna carve down the middle. basic brain shape. Okay, I think this brain looks pretty good. We have the two um, hemispheres carved out here. This is a side angle. And, um, you know, this is just the base. So once we put on the icing and the fondant, um, it's gonna look even more like a real brain. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna put the icing on all over. Um, I'm probably only going to do one coat, maybe two depending on time, but I really want this ready for tonight. So I'm going to put this on and then stick it in the fridge so that it will chill and then when we take it out, I can roll the fondant squiggles and um, put them on the brain with the raspberry jam for the final bloody touch. So here we go. Just a little taste test. Mmm. Delicious. Okay. Oh, shout out to Buddy Veles Velastro. It's a bit tricky because the cake is sort of really, um, hasn't really got brain cake today. Um, <laughs> It's not very, uh, it's very moist, so it's a bit crumbly, that's what I'm trying to say. The cake is a bit crumbly. So hopefully this will help sort of glue it all together a bit better for when we put the squiggles on. And you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. No one knows what a real brain looks like anyway. isn't as easy as it looks, trust me. <laughs> Stop eating the icing! So I think this looks pretty good. It has a good coat of icing on it so that um, when we um, put the brain squiggles on, they should stick really nicely and really well. So pop this in the fridge for a couple of hours and then I'm going to come back and we're going to roll out the fondant, fondant and stick it on. Okay, see you soon.
Okay, so it has been a couple of hours and here is the cake that has been iced and has been sitting in the fridge to chill and I can guarantee that yes, it is cool to the touch, which is perfect. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna roll out the fondant and we are going to create the little brain squig squiggles that go to the top. I should really learn what that's called because I've been saying it the whole video and I don't know what it's called, but we're going to do the brain squiggles right now with the fondant. So, you know what? I'm going to transfer this to a plate because I have a feeling after we put on the final squiggles, um, I don't want to move it to a serving plate. So this way I can kind of build it as it's going to go out. You can't even see that. Here we go. Ta-da! Okay, so let's get started. So what we're going to do is we are going to roll out this one. And this stuff actually dries pretty quickly is my understanding. So we basically need to work pretty fast. I just have to say, I am so proud of myself. I really thought this was gonna be so much more difficult than it actually was. Ah, brain cake. Okay, I have a little bit of fondant left over and I am gonna create, I've decided, this part here, which, ow, damn it, it's just called <laughs> staples. Uh, uh, the stem, I'm just gonna call it the brain stem. Um, I don't know the technical term, obviously, because I'm making a cake, but this part here, I'm just gonna create this little ball here and I'm gonna stick it at the back. So I guess it kind of has a little bit of a ledge. Um, let's do that really quickly. Um, I kind of feel like it needs some like ridges. Let's get a knife. Let's see here, like this. Maybe just some like, this might turn out looking like a seashell, but who is going to know any different, honestly? I don't know how many brain stems you've seen in your life. I think that looks about right. And I am going to guess that this side is going to be the back. And slide this in. Like that. Oops, did actually mean some pieces of falling. Let me see if I can fix this one. I just squish it together a little bit. <laughs> it's had a bit of a head injury. <laughs> um, but there we go. So I think that looks pretty good. Okay, next step is to baste the whole thing in raspberry jam for a nice bloody finish. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've started putting the jam on and it's actually not giving enough coverage, as you can see. It's kind of going in the cracks, but it's not turning the fondant red. And maybe that's my fault, because I probably should have gotten colored fondant instead of 
white, but um, I'm gonna try and fix it. Maybe I can find some food coloring or some other red stuff in my cupboard and mix it with the jam and see if that makes a difference. <laughs> Okay, disaster avoided. I made a quick run to my local supermarket, thank you Ralph's, and they did not have red food coloring, but thanks to Bertie Crocker, we have some cookie icing, which is pretty close. I mean, it's very, like, obviously it's icing, so it's very thick, but at least it's very red, and I am mixing it with this jam here, which is a little bit darker and the consistency is pretty good so I think it's kind of working um, if I mix these two together it's coming out a little more red um, less brown and yeah I'm just gonna keep um, keep on keeping on icing this cake and let's see how it turns out it's pretty good so far nice and bloody And it is done! Check out my delicious brain cake. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun making this and honestly I can tell you it was not that hard and I am not a baker at all. So please give it a go, surprise your guests on Halloween or just a regular birthday. Who doesn't want to have a brain cake to celebrate. Thanks guys, subscribe to my channel, bye.